All right, a few other questions have come in, mm -hmm. um, and I'll pick some of them to answer here and some of them to answer online. But the um, it, there was a question about the solutions that deliver the capability, and I think that you had touched on that a little bit earlier. Certainly, the solutions that BMC offers um, can be uh, can be anything from a simple um, submitting the request and then it's manually fulfilled at the end to the full atrium orchestrator component where the request is submitted and with the appropriate levels of automated approval, there can be automated provisioning done. So, for example, um, access requests. You can automatically provision a particular account or application based on, um, based on input without any human intervention. So there are certainly solutions that RightStar can provide and recommend that do these types of things. There was another question. Absolutely. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Nancy. No, no, just I find I I said absolutely, including my IT. Mm -hmm. Yep. The um. Go ahead. The the other question then was: Are there any user service offerings in a technical service? So going back to the slides about technical versus business service. There may be. There may be, especially one where, in the example where I was showing you um, hosting services. When we talk about defining your audience, who's your audience there, you, may, you would have a business customer that may be um, a, a customer who would be requesting hosting services. They may not be, um, there may be a subset of your organization that would be able to, to do that. However, they would still be considered a customer and they would still be submitting a request in that manner. So that would be someone who would be requesting a, a, technical, a technical service in, um, in relation to a business hosting service. All right. Good. Thank okay. you, Nancy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're now we're going to be talking here about the service catalog implementation approach. So there's no silver bullet here, and there's no shortcuts to developing your service catalog. Now, if you want to simply put take some or develop some service requests and put them out on, in a service request solution, you can certainly do that How, in the short term, and that's exactly what it would be. It would be you know, something that you would do in the near term. However, the process to develop your services and properly and to develop these requestable services within that service do take some time. And we're going to talk a, talk a bit here about the steps to do that. We start off with project initiation. And project initiation is is where we are going to actually put a project to together to develop the service catalog. For those that are familiar with uh, Deming's Plan, Do, Check, Act, this approach is very similar to following that um, process. You, you develop the project, you would initiate the project, and we'll talk about the components of that, moving forward from that, conducting business work sessions, involving your business customers in your development of your service, negotiating an agreement, implementing the service catalog, and then developing and putting into place a continual service plan. So whether you're developing a process, your service catalog, you, you will be going through these steps to do that. So project initiation. You're going to decide that, yes, we're going to move forward with this project to develop our service catalog. The project team will be setting the goals and objectives. There will be a project owner who will be defining the project team, defining the service catalog's terms and conditions, and overall, you're going to gain executive sponsorship. Without executive sponsorship on board, then, as we all know, there's certainly less of a chance of this project being successful. So the project team, I want to speak a little, talk a little bit here about the project team. The project team is comprised of resources from both the IT organization and the business, and that ensures that there's representation from all groups when you're developing the service. It may include, but not limited to, 
your service catalog manager, an incident manager, IT support staff, business users. Business users, again, would be HR or payroll. And the, um, the project terms and, and definitions or project terms and conditions include defining the duration of the project, the level of commitment from each participating me member, whether you'll be implementing this in an agile approach and you have a, a focused attention of all of the team participants for periods of time. It just depends on the approach that you're going to take to implement this project, move this project forward. As we all know, your executive sponsor is your biggest cheerleader. So you want to, you want to engage them early and you want to have them on board. They will proactively promote the project and gain buy-in from all the groups. They'll also be available to help mitigate any issues. As you know, they will always arrive in IT projects that we, that we uh, put into place. So the project workstation, work sessions include getting the team together and beginning work. So this team that you've defined during the project initiation is now going to come together and they're going to agree on the terminology. They're going to develop a service catalog policy. And they're also going to review existing services. So let me speak a little bit about um, the terminology. The terminology is what's going to be um, utilized in your service catalog. And you, you will want to look at the style guides within your organization to see the types of wording and the, ty uh, the types of styles of, of text and just the, the uh, taxonomy of, of terms that are used in your organization and utilize those same terms in your service catalog. You'll want to develop a service catalog policy that will include how a service catalog is developed, what the inputs of that, of, of that will be coming into the service catalog process. Then once it comes into the process, what your steps will be to continue to define the components of that service. You may have a new service that comes along in your service portfolio and you want to take it through the, the um, development steps, release it, add it to the live service catalog, and then you know, put your continuous service um, plan into place and review it during pe specific periods of time. So you want to develop all of those specifics and include those in your service catalog policy. The next step that this project team is going to do is to review existing services. You have services that you're providing your end users and your customers today. Please don't reinvent the wheel. Look at incident data and identify the top requests that are coming into the service desk. There are services and components of services that already exist in your organization. Identify them and from those, determine what's working well and what can be improved. Capture those in your service. Capture those as components of those services and populate those in, from the previous slide. So the, you're going to begin defining your services in this phase, and you're going to be capturing those in what I call an initial service framework, or you're just a listing of your initial services. But this is your starting point. This is what you're going to be implementing in this phase of the project. My recommendation here is to take a phased approach. I wouldn't recommend trying to boil the ocean. It, you want to get something out there. You want your, your end users and your customers to become familiar with the service catalog. But you want good quality services that, that will be published. So begin defining your services and those that you want to publish in this phase. Once you've defined those services, then you'll want to set up work sessions, work sessions with the business. Ask business customers to explain their own business objectives. Describe what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. And also help ha have conversation with them and to describe the IT services they use to perform their roles in the organization. You may engage business uh, customers that perform daily functions in HR applications or financial applications. And it's critical for them to be able to um, do certain things at certain times of the, times of the year, um, maybe month-end, quarter-end, year-end reporting. 
Also ask them about the types of requests that they contact the service desk for, or they submit requests or populate templates um, for, maybe um, new application access, or they may be requesting um, password resets on a hosted system. They may be requesting additional applications because they're changing their role or they've just taken on this new role. These are all components of your services, and they may in turn become requestable services that are part of those services. Capture these responses and include those in the initial services list is my recommendation here. And they're involved, they're included in the development of, your, of the services. Your next phase of the project is to build and deploy the service catalog. You want to document the components of each in an organized fashion, whether it be spreadsheet or utilizing a template. You want to document the name of the service, the description, hours of operation, et cetera, the, the components listed in the previous slide. You want to define and document associated requestable service offering. So you've, you've defined your services in the project uh, work session. You've met with your business customers. You've defined and captured their needs and requirements and what they do on a day-to-day -day basis and how they interact with IT. Now you're going to be defining the requestable services that are associated with, with your service offering, with your services. Negotiate this, any service levels that you have with the business. From a service desk perspective with the business, when, when, it, when an end user calls in and they have a high priority incident, what is the service level agreement that, that that user can expect that their incident will be responded to and resolved? So negotiate those during this, this uh, stage of the project. Implement your service catalog solution. What I mean there is that many organizations have purchased a service catalog solution. They just haven't implemented it. So for those of you who have a catalog solution, that you are interested in rolling out, which will include your service catalog and requestable services, this is the time to, to implement that. That is the tool that is part of this project that you will be utilizing to publish your service catalog. For those of you who have not defined a service catalog solution, then during the, the project initiation, will be a task that you would want to add to begin looking at different service catalog solutions. And that, and that will be driven also by your requirements gathering session. So there will be additional tasks that will need to take place within this project to, to also investigate different solutions that are out there and the solution that will most meet your needs based on the services that you've defined and your meetings with your business customers. So for those of you who have your service catalog solution, uh, now during this phase, you will be publishing the service with the service components. You will be defining and you will be configuring your requestable service offering. And you will be publishing the service catalog along with those offerings. As part of this project, you'll also be defining the time periods for the service review. You're going to want to put into place a time period at least once a year to ensure that the information continues to be accurate. So you want to make sure that, that um, those that are utilizing the service catalog and the services that you publish continue to be accurate, the requests are being utilized, and uh, you want to ensure that your customers are continuing to find value in the services that are being offered. If you notice drops in hits or drops in reuse of your request, a reduction in the number of request submissions, then review the offerings and, and put improvement plans into place. Continue the phased approach for implementing your services, and once again, repeat, repeat the plan, do, check, act. Repeat, so you've, you're implementing your phased approach. 